tornado or hurricane. Oh, it never happens here. Yes, it will. It does. If the conditions yeah, it's are... It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Yep. It's happened. It's the same with the discretion today. It's like there's yes. something out there. We don't know what it is. Yeah. Everybody knows there's something out there. We don't right. know what it is. It can, it can affect you today. It may not affect you ever, but at least be prepared in case it does. Yeah. That way you're prepared. It's only a matter of time. Yes. Yeah. It, it's, it, yeah. It's, it's really, that was a scary, sad type thing. That lava was unbelievable. Unbelievable. That, yeah. I was looking at that. I couldn't even believe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't even believe. It's like, oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Because, and, you know, we're looking out, you know, looking out Saint Helens, you know, yeah. you know, look at that. That was okay. Oh, it's inactive. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah, I hope they, you know, they. I hope they. You know, take this into consideration. Yeah, it's not active. Uh huh. Yeah, matter of time again. Absolutely, it's not a matter of if; it's a matter of when. Yep, exactly. So, well, now that we've had two, a st- couple strange things happen tonight, makes you wonder. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're they're bugging us or watching us. They probably us are. Yeah, oh. They don't talk about anything good. No, but you know, if you're, uh, secret. <laughs> um, if you're out there listening, bring me a McDonald's coffee, large mocha, non fat, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. Get, <laughs> get you a Big Mac for yourself. You're always hungry. Oh, hey. Hungry. Yeah, give me, yeah. <laughs> I'll take a Big Mac. No, I'll take a Whopper. Not Whopper. That's Burger King. <laughs> um, give me a quarter pounder with cheese. No pickle. Thanks. Um, yeah, bring the coffee, though. I'd appreciate it. So, <laughs> if I get my coffee, I'll let you know. Uh, there you go. I'd shit if somebody came to the door with my coffee. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? I mean, if you order stuff, say, by the way, if you're out there listening and somebody comes by with a coffee for you, okay, thanks. Yeah, I I'd be. It's really good now. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> well, I can hope. So the men in black are going to come to our doors pretty soon and be like, oh, we're not actually talking about this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're not to speak to anyone. Okay. Um, Too late. <laughs> <laughs> yep, a little late, but anyway. Okay, um, we pretty much covered aliens tonight, I think, pretty well. Pretty well. I think, yeah. Yes. I think we did really well. Yep. Yep. So... Yeah. Well, we discussed the, the craziness of it and yeah. everything. And like I said, this is a show about being prepared. This is this planet B.O.B. By the way, B period, O period, B period. Because again, that will take you to a pot place. But anyway. There you go. <laughs> so this podcast was based on a Facebook group that I had started yes. with a man named Perry. And we, we, our goal is just to make sure people are Yes, and a lot of people are in this uh, group. Yeah, a lot of great people are in this group. Um, Check it out. Um, uh, Anything you want to know about uh, surviving or prepping, this is the place to go. Absolutely. Um, So, and it's really taken. It's taken off quite well, I must say. It's an excellent. Yes. Yep. You know, our, our main goal for everything, for this podcast, for everything, you know, sometimes we joke around, it, it, we want people to be prepared to save themselves, to Absolutely. not rely on people. Exactly. To not rely on a disaster situation, to rely on your government, to rely on these, these organizations that are not going to be there for you. Right. And if they are, they're going to control every aspect of your life. Yes. Yes. Um, did, I saw something interesting, just to bring, since you brought that up about relying on organizations, um, I saw an interesting on FEMA that they are, uh-huh. yeah, that they are not actually first responders. They're not there. They're to, they're there after all else. Uh, the government, oh, yeah. your, your city government. I don't think people realize this, um, that they're there only after um, your city government or your federal government has stepped in and done whatever, then they come in. They just don't. Oh yeah, that, that, that's the whole that's the whole point of it. Right. 
But I don't think but a lot the of... red tape, yes, is what it is. Right. But I think pe- people don't realize that, that FEMA is not a first responder group. That is not what they okay. do. Because, no, uh, you know, how many times have people said, well, you know, where's FEMA? Where, where, what are they doing? No, that's not how this works. Um, we'll have to talk about that, you know. Well, I, I, somebody once told me basically to think of a disaster like a restaurant. Uh huh. When you first go, you go in and you sit down. Okay, well, there's the disaster. Okay, well, the waitress has to determine that you're a customer. So right. when she gets to come over, she talks to you. First, she gets your drink order. Then she comes back and tells you know. So basically, you go through this whole chain of crap before right. you actually get food from right. the kitchen. We'll see that. Yeah. Anna is the food from the kitchen. Yes, exactly. That is how it was set up. And I don't your, think your city, your government, even the president is all part of the the table, the waitress, the menus, everything else. Exactly, except. exactly. Especially your city government, they're supposed to have protocols in place for stuff like this. Uh, supposed uh, to, supposed to. That's the key word. Supposed there. to. Right. Um, and that, that's why you need to be prepared to save yourself. Yes. Yes, I don't think a lot of people realize that about FEMA. I really don't. Um, I, I, you know, check uh, check out your government protocols for disasters. Check out everything. Um, it, it's it's uh, available to the public. So you should check that out and find out for yourself exactly, you know, what how, how it goes. Because... Um, yeah, exactly. That's why there's people will find like these... He's filled full of FEMA trailers. Like, oh, these FEMA trailers never got to the victims. It's not because FEMA was like, we're just not doing it. We're keeping your money and we're going to let you die. It's because whoever in your city, your county, right. your state, did not put in the right orders, did not put the right thing in, or the president didn't declare a disaster, whatever that it may be, right. is why you did not get that help from the FEMA. But meantime... Millions of our dollars are going to these pricks. Yeah. Sorry, I, That's and okay. They're not, and you are not getting anything from them. Yeah, exactly. Because they can't. So, so basically, we pay them millions of dollars to have all this crap ready to help you. Yeah. But they can't help you unless they get the green light. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and that's what we're trying to, again, save yourself. yes, <laughs> be prepared, save yourself and your family, um, if that's the case. So, yeah, so there you go. Uh, there's so much freaking red tape to any of this crap. So, uh, and, and, it's, and it's not just the U.S., it's no. all over the world. People yes. think, oh, well, it's the United States. No, it's not. It's Canada, it's Mexico, it's England, it's Australia, exactly. it's everywhere. That's how your government runs. Yes. They decide yep. what help you get. They decide what you can have. They decide if it's a disaster or not. Whether it's you or not, it matters what they think. Exactly. So have everything in place to save yourself. Thank you. Yes. We can't stress that enough. You know, you probably might get tired of hearing it, but it's the truth. Be prepared. I will, I will say it until it's pounded into every single person's head that listens to this yes. and, and goes to that website because it needs that, that's what needs to happen. I totally agree. Totally agree. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I just brought that up because you said about the, you know, government organizations. And I yeah. thought, yeah. And they finally came out with it. I think it was on the Weather Channel. As a matter of fact, they were on and they brought that up. So since you brought that up, I did because people need to know that. I don't think they understood that. I, I really don't. So hopefully. No, we, didn't. Yeah, I hope. Uh, I don't think a lot of people. I, I knew it just because I, I, I read up on this kind of yeah, stuff all yeah, the time. Yeah. Like a I said, lot of people, a lot of people think that. Well, where's FEMA? Like FEMA is not coming here. Yeah, no, until no, the no. president comes here and says, "Hey, FEMA, these guys need help. They here, let me decide how much help." Yeah, exactly. So, again, we're going to keep repeating it. Be prepared. <laughs> Save yourself. Exactly. So, okay. Um, I think we'll wrap it up. What shows we got coming up, Michelle? Oh, we've got all kinds of shows coming up. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have anything on Tuesday right now, do no, we? No, no. Uh-uh. Okay, on Wednesday we have Hump Day hey. Humor. Woo-hoo. 
Yep. With Denise and I, it's usually around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock Eastern time somewhere in yes. this, but, but give or take whatever, because we, yeah, yeah. I'm getting off work and she's just waking up, so yep. we make quite a pair in the morning. Oh, yes. Uh, We're just so lovely. And then <laughs> Wednesday night, we yes. have Fear the Walking Dead, the finale. I'm not yes. sure if I'm going to be there. With Denise, but I will be in the board if nothing else. Okay, awesome, so, awesome. Okay, I'm, I'm I'll take it. I'm extremely happy of the outcome of this week's episode. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. <laughs> Thursday, we have, what do we have, Thursday Encounters? Yeah, Encounters and Lolita's Jam. And Lolita's Jam. Yeah. yeah, she plays a lot of a lot of underground music, a lot of good music. Yeah. Especially if you're young, you'll love it. Yes, you know, so definitely go check it out. Um, what's encounters about this week? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm hoping my girl will be able to be on this week. So keep your fingers crossed. Oh, that would be very yes. cool. Yes, yes. So. Okay, and then Friday we have Hollywood Review yep. with Denise again. Denise, Denise will let the go-to girl around here. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have, <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have Freaks in the Basement after yes. that with Chris Stevens who goes, freaks out, he does these amazing skits with this free. Yep. Yeah, the music is totally awesome. My kind of music. Yes, so it's definitely. Great. He he had some good music, and I missed a lot of his. Uh, he played some new music Friday. Um, this week, oh, yeah. I I'll be able to tune in all night, so I'm looking forward to it. There you go. Yeah. And then Saturday we have the gym yep. with Ike. Yep. Our very own. He he does a pretty good show. He, he he plays sometimes all night long. The sun will be coming up and night's still on. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. He play, he, he has a lot of good stuff on there. Yeah. I, um, Sunday we have DWD. Yes, yes. Piece. That Sunday, yeah. Yeah, yep. You got it. And what are you doing next week? Uh, boy bands. We're going to do boy bands next week. <laughs> oh, good. Should be interesting. <laughs> Should be fun. Uh, I'll, 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 have to, I'll, have to, I'll have to drink a little bit. Yeah, before. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> me too. Oh, no, you didn't hear that from me. Okay. Um, yeah, me too. Okay. And then the following Monday, I don't think we have anything on that no, Monday. No, But we're trying to fill the spot. If there's anybody out there interested in podcasting, let Please. us know. We'll hook you up with ideas or Stephen Clark. Yep, we'll hook you up. We'll hook you up. Out. Yeah. If you so. have a good idea, want to have an idea for a show, uh, let us know. Let us know. Exactly. Facebook groups. Again, yes. we have Planet B period O period Woo-hoo. B period Planet Planet B O B. Yes. Um, go there for any kind of survival advice. Anything we don't have there, just ask. We'll help you. Um, we also have K B O B LLC, our very own home. Yes. Facebook group for this station. You can go there, get links to shows and. And of course, I can see when they're always posting some really weird things there. Yeah. I think you might like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's the place to go. If you have an idea for a show, let us know there. Uh, they'll get a hold exactly. of you. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. then our, our, our other Facebook groups, um, we have True Horror Junkies. Yeah. That's the horror group. And then we have Horror Three Ring Circuit, which is, I, I have a horror group too. Two different styles, though. Go on both is pretty funny. Um, we, <laughs> you guys like it. Yeah, yeah. And then we have The Walking Dead Freak Show. Awesome, awesome. That, yeah, that, that, yeah. Awesome. We're fixing to do, well, we got a few more months, but yeah, sca- scavenger hunt pretty soon if I can Yeah, oh, cool. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, you guys will love it. And then we have Survival Wolf, Mike Rowan. He lets us advertise there. And he's another survival group, awesome place. You can also, they also have stuff for sale there. Just a really good group. Go there, check it out. Conflicted, what would you do scenarios? So, Absolutely. Great Penny, groups the out there. that was on here a few weeks yes. ago, which, by the way, if anybody downloaded her book, please leave a review for her. They kind of feed off that at Amazon there. So, yeah. She Definitely was awesome. Yeah. We need to have her I back. Yeah, I, I think so, too. We, we yeah. need to have her on the show again. Yes, absolutely. So. Yes. So check out these groups. Again, if you oh, have yeah. Hey, my head spins so many rooms. I know. <laughs> I know. Totally awesome. Oh, and next week um, on DWBD on Sunday, we're going to have some cover wars. 
All right, I'm going to give away oh, a prize. Yeah.